Hey guys, it's Christy and today I am doing my Sephora play unboxing for the month of June. Woohoo! I have already looked at the products because you know me, I can't wait. It's the Christmas morning when my Sephora box comes. I have my little cheat sheet of the products right here and I absolutely love this little bag and I can't wait to find a use for this one. It says hot, hot, hot and it's all like summary which is really cute and it says that the theme is summer nice because I mean there's just a lot going on on that page I'm gonna jump right in I'm gonna pick out the first thing Ooh, I'm super excited to try this I haven't tried it yet but I think it's gonna be awesome lighting's wonky sorry I think we're all just going to have to deal with it and be okay. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied, Liquefied Long Wear Matte Lipstick in Queen Bee. It's a long-lasting, lightweight lipstick that goes on like a gloss but delivers bold, full color. This is exciting. This is like my favorite color of lipsticks right now, if you know me well. And we have, Oreo loves lipstick, we all know this. Has your little doe foot applicator. I am actually going to my nephew's graduation. He is graduating from eighth grade tomorrow. And I will probably be wearing that color because I think it will be perfect. The next thing we have in here is this month's bonus. It is Peace, Love, and Patchouli. Mason, Margiela Replica Music Festival. It is a um, perfume. It says, inspired by the iconic Woodstock Festival of 1969, this scent blends patchouli essence with cannabis and leather accord for an aroma that will rock your world. This sounds like nothing I would wear, so I'm going to pass that one on. Next, we have the Tatcha little thing here where is it where are we okay right that this this one makes me super excited i've never heard about it i've never seen anything like it and i'm super pumped to try it i might try it tomorrow actually it is called the tatcha the silk canvas face primer it's a lightweight primer that blurs imperfections and reduces the look of pores i think that this sounds so absolutely amazing so it comes ooh, it comes, okay, this packaging though, honestly, like, how cute is this packaging? I absolutely love it. It twists right here, it's high because I have like a nose right here, but it twists and it looks like this and you would, you know, put your finger in and smooth it along and hide those pores so you, you know, like this area, you know, the T-zone, the T-zone. So, so, so pumped to try that not gonna lie the next thing in the sephora box is now i thought that i already had this but i looked and i don't i actually have um a different one that i was confusing with this this is the lancome definicillus totally said that wrong high definition mascara in black it's a defining mascara that provides natural looking lashes that stand out i have the lancome um primer number one which I love. So I will definitely be using that with this. But honestly, look at that brush. It looks perfect and I'm so excited to give that a go. I love little mascaras because by the time I use up a little mascara or it dries out or whatever, I'm not in the mood for it anymore anyway and I want to try something different. Next is the Living Proof No Frizz Nourishing Style Cream. It's a frizz taming styling cream that blocks moisture in the ear without weighing hair down. This is perfect. The humidity has been unreal lately and I'm going to definitely be using this tomorrow because I think I want to try to straighten, I think I'm going to straighten my hair and I like the smell of it, number one. And Living Proof is a great brand, so I will be giving that a go. And the last thing, which I'm super excited about too, because I haven't tried it yet, um, it is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. I think this is going to be perfect. It's a gentle formula that removes makeup without tugging, stinging, or irritating the skin. I've heard so much about this actual product 
and I mean I just have been using samples as I said I use up the samples and then like I'm kind of sick of the product so there's not very many that I've gotten from here that I have bought in the full versions of but when I do fully run out of things like I know what I'm going to go and buy the full products of so that's why I love the subscription it gives me just the chance to like give it a go first and see and I mean this samples are like a great size too if you think about it like I use the face washes and they last for a really long time I actually just finished up another one and put another one I usually just leave a face wash in my shower for the times that like I'm not having a face mask on first or whatever and I love them I love this box so much I don't know how many times I can say it it says love tips tricks and beauty hacks go to sephora.com slash play Yes, but this is this month's box. I think it may be my favorite. I feel like I say this every single time, but these boxes just keep getting better and better. But yes, I have Oreo literally. Like he tired himself out. He ate all my pillows and stuff as you can see my bed was made. But yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later. And yeah, see ya.